Hello there and welcome, my name is Jimmy Wiekman and in this video we're going to talk about a new announcement that came out on the Alasin community just recently where they announced that we will soon have inline images as opposed to the block uh, level images that we have had before and if you don't know what the difference is then uh, uh, block images that we had before are basically uh, content blocks that we can place in different places while inline blocks exist within uh, the same uh, content basically as text for example. So this means that you can now have basically small icons or small images uh, related directly to your text as opposed to having one of those big blocks that you can then either align left or right or center and you can scale it. Uh, so this is going to open up a lot of new things for us in our uh, Atlassian work. So let's jump over to the Atlassian community and take you through the article. So here we are now in the Atlassian community and this one comes from, um, from Tamim uh, who is now presenting this one and this one is for Confluence it seems. And what they are doing is uh, they are allowing us, you can see here on the image, uh, that you can now place it within the same line as the text and it will actually scale according to the text level that you have. So if it is a level 1 uh, or a, an H1, a heading 1, then it will actually have the same size as the heading itself. So this one is really, really cool. And we can also see that you can use this one now, for example, for headers uh, within a table, for example, or you can have it as part of an ULLI list. And you can also toggle between them. So you can see here they start now with a, uh, a block, and now we can actually change this one to an inline if you want. And you can also choose to have borders on it. Uh, so if it has a transparent background, this is very good because then it's a little bit easier to see them also. So we'll check out this one. So they add an image now. And then they click on it and they add a border to it. So it's very easy and very simple to work with. And I think this one is actually kind of nice because you can even have this one with external links. Uh, so this way you can you can really use this uh, for those of you who in the past have used instead uh, emojis for different reasons to, uh, to mark out your text. You can now use the inline images instead if you want that. And you can of course also group them so you have now different layout buttons for it. Uh, so this one will roll out over the next month or so so you should be able to see it fairly soon. I did not have it when I checked right now. But as soon as I have it, I will make another video for it so you can see what it looks like. But that was it for this video. I think this one is... They, they are really pushing now in Confluence, doing a lot of new cool stuff. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to see where this one is going. So for me, I will use this a lot because I sometimes use this, for example, when we are uh, documenting different things, especially when we document our work with external contractors and stuff like that. And I like to add like their little icon there so I know which company are we referring to. And this one I've used the Mojis for in the past, and now I will probably use the inline uh, icon uh, or inline images instead because that way I can also link to specific information I have about that contractor. So this is really good. Uh, so to Tamim and the rest of the team over at Confluence uh, Editor, really good. I uh, really appreciate the hard work that you're doing. So that was it for this video. And I guess the only thing remains for me to say is that I hope that you will have an awesome day and a great week.